Hey guys and welcome along to Art in One. So today we're going to be reviewing a brand new product from Pentel, the Hybrid Dual Metallic Pens. Now the Dual Metallic Pens are some of the most sought after art materials of 2017. I have been told it's incredibly difficult to get your hands on them. So today, to do things a little bit differently, I thought I'd bring in my fiancée Natasha to help me review these pens. Hi guys! Let's start with my first impressions. The packaging is really nice. I love the clash of colours against the black packet. The colours look really vibrant and bright from the initial covers with plenty of choice. Now these pens have one massive selling point. They change colour depending on the type of paper you are using. As you can see here, I'm using the purple pen on the white paper, I'm using the same pen on the black paper and it's turned blue. The set does include standard colours such as gold and silver, which is the same on any type of paper which is great for you crafters out there. As you can see I did an orange which has turned yellow on black. Did have a bit of an issue getting the blue to work. Um, new pens though, they do sometimes have issue when you're first using them. I think it's just a case of getting it to work, the ballpoint to work initially. Green on the black paper and it's now blue on the white paper. The next colour I picked up was green which was green on white paper and then it turned into a blue on the black paper. I picked up the red. Well I thought it was red. I was a bit disappointed. To me the cover looks very very red um, but when I was using it on the white paper it was more fuchsia and on the black paper it was a very metallic pink. Red is my favourite colour so I was a little bit disappointed with that. I decided to test them out colouring some hummingbirds that Johnny had drawn for me earlier in the day. The shading on the pens is very good and the blending as well. I'd used the blue initially for the top part of the wing and I was able to blend that really nicely into the green. The orange and the yellow blended really nicely together. Um, I do feel that these pens would be perfect for writing with rather than colouring in. Um, it's only a one millimetre nib which means it's more for detail work than it is for shading work. Um, personally I'll probably be taking these to work with me and I think they write lovely, they glide across the page in a really nice fashion and they have really gorgeous sparkling effects on any type of paper and um, the writing was really even as well. It was just nice, it just felt nice to write with. It was much nicer than it was to shade. I thought shading it was a little bit scratchy. Definitely recommend these pens. It was lovely to be here on Art in One and I look forward to see seeing all your comments down below. Bye!